Hello everyone, welcome back. So we are going to discuss the fourth question in our series. And this is a exponential uh, decay function. So population of a town t years after Jan 1st, 2024 is modeled by this equation. Here k is negative, t is greater than or equal to zero. And now we need to find, uh, we need to estimate using this model, what will be the population on Jan 1, 2041 right so if okay so they give population like they give a model but the problem is i there is two unknowns here i need to find what is this k constant and there is one more proof for this it is not that like uh, between january 1 2024 to january 1 2022 in this uh, particular time there is 11 percent decrease in the population this is the clue so using this, we will find K, we will make the model complete, and then we will solve uh, for the this estimate the population, right? So let's go with this. First, close this. 1 Jan 2024 to 1 Jan 2022. So actually, we have um, how many years gap? Like eight years gap. So P of 8 is 15,000 E power 8K. Again, the K is a problem. So, is there any other way to uh, use this uh, that is decrease in population? Yes, initial population, then after eight years, the, what will be the 11 percent decrease? And we can equate it. So, right? So, P of 8 is 11 percent in decrease on P of 0, initial population. So, we can apply that. So, I need P of 0. So, what is P of 0? The initial population is 15,000. Directly, you can fetch it or you can substitute 0, you will get the same. So 11% decrease on 15,000. It's going to be 15,000. We can go with the multiply method. That's simple. 1 minus 11% is 11 by 100. 11 by 100 is 0 0.11. So 15,000 times 1 minus 0 0.11. It's going to be 0 0.89. It's simple multiplication. So we can, when you multiply it, you will get 13,350. So this is initial, uh, that is, this is the population uh, of 8. Right, we can equate it. 11% decrease. After 11% decrease, we will be at the 8th year and P of 8 is this. Now we can uh, use this here. P of 8 is 13,350 equal 15,000 times e power 8k. And we need to solve for it. Okay, let's go for an equation solver. We need to find what is it. Here we go. Let's take a calculator. And we can go for n solve. Numerical solve. Uh, we got this equation. 15,000 times e power. So go for this calculator one. e power 8k is given. 8k equals 13,350. And come on, what the variable we are solving? We are solving for k. That's it. When you click enter, you will get, oh, I made an error. It's 13,350. Equals 13,350, comma, k. So it's negative 0 0.01446. They said k is negative and we got the same. So now getting back to the board. This implies k is approximately negative 0 0.14567 it is. So let me take 146. And then after this, uh, we got a k. Now the model is getting completed. So the completed model is P of T is 15,000 e power negative 0 0.146 T. And uh, we, finally, we are at the part where we need to find the population uh, on 2041, 1 Jan 2041. So this is the initial condition. And N is clearly 
2041 minus 2014, which is 27, right? N means like number of years. Here it's T, so it's changed to T. T is 27. So P of 27 is 15,000. E power negative 0 0.146 times 27. Right. Let's go with the numerical solver and simplify it. So we got 15,000 times e power negative 0 0.146 times uh, 20 Santhia we are calculating. And it's 291. Here zero point zero negative zero point zero one four six times twenty seven. So uh, one zero make a lot of difference. It's ten thousand hundred and thirteen point three, and that's our estimated population. Ten thousand hundred and thirteen. That's simple. So just a quick recap. They gave a population uh, model and there is a, one more unknown K. So we find K with the clue they have given from January 1 to uh, 24 to 22, uh, 2014 to 22, we got this much decrease and we work on it. We solve for K. Then after making the complete model, we just find the required number of uh, years, which is 27 and we solved it. It's 10,100. So that's it. Thank you for listening.